These two loved up legends are sealing the deal today, right here, right now. My name is Beck Timms and I am a Commonwealth Registered Civil Celebrant. That is a mouthful. I am a representative of the Attorney General here in Australia, but in other words, I can just marry the shit out of you. <laughs> I am your sassy narrator today for the Dwayne and Catherine Festival of Love. Now, I always say that you've got to marry someone who gives you the same feeling when you see your meal coming at a restaurant. You get excited. You might dribble a little bit and you hope and you pray that no one else gets your meal. <laughs> Baby, we got that song. Now, while some people might walk down the street and see these two and think, how the hell did he manage that? To me, it makes sense. Uh, I've had the pleasure of watching these two goof around and argue and more importantly support each other over the years and I know my life is better for having both of them in it and um, I can't wait to see what adventures and shenanigans lie ahead for you both. So cast your mind back to 2008. The stars aligned and Dwayne and Catherine met at an underage high school party on the sunny coast. After noticing each other, they had a pretty cool how you doing chat. There was a lot of initial attraction to each other, a bit of flirty banter, maybe a little hair twirling. As first impressions went, Catherine thought that Dwayne was super hot. And Dwayne's first impressions of Catherine were, well, let's be honest, dead ass. I was made to feel holy, liquid gold runs through my veins. I just want to take a moment to appreciate my stunning wife. I mean, can we get a round of applause for this one? Can I just point out how absolutely stunning the bride looks? And I suppose the groom cleans up alright as well. Dwayne, you're punching, dude. I was made to feel holy. I was made to feel holy. And this brings us to the present moment, everyone, the 1st of June 2023. Today is the series premiere of their own rom com. And in the words of Bring Me the Horizon, which is Dwayne and Catherine's favourite band, the life may leave my lungs, but my heart will stay with you. I feel the thunder as it pours in. I'm overcome with so many emotions today as I celebrate Dwayne and Catherine's marriage. As a mother, all I've ever wanted is for you to be happy. So seeing you both so happy is the greatest gift a mum could ask for. I knew all this time that you were the one for me and I always wondered how I deserved such a wonderful man as you. I promise to love you with all I have to give and feel inside completely and forever. Catherine, from the moment I first saw you at that random house party, I knew you were special. Who would have thought that 15 years later we would be standing here, I know with you by my side, nothing else matters. Not only is she beautiful and charming, but she brings out the very best in you. I couldn't ask for a better daughter-in-law, Catherine. The fire starts. So we hope you guys are ready for a banger of a celebration. Till death do we party. Why the fuck you want to climb on a toilet? <laughs> First time.
I'm the world's newest husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins! his wife when a night came along and he told me that he wanted me to meet this girl that he'd been talking to that he knew in high school. He was very giddy about it. <laughs> she came around to our house um, and God, that was a, an adventure. He kind of lost his best mate that night. <laughs> uh, Kat and I, I think, talk more than Wayne and I do these days. <laughs> May the future be filled with many wonderful memories and adventures together. To Catherine and Dwayne.